Welcome back, dear viewers, to another enthralling episode of The Bible Explained. Today we're diving into a story that resonates through centuries, capturing our fascination with faith, obedience, and survival against all odds. In this segment, we'll explore Genesis 7:11 to 8:17, where Noah builds the ark and faces the monumental flood. This isn't just an ancient tale. It's a narrative that speaks to human resilience, the power of belief, and the marvels of divine intervention. So let's set the scene and embark on this journey. In the 600th year of Noah's life, in the second month, on the 17th day, the fountains of the great deep burst forth and the windows of the heavens were opened. Imagine the sheer magnitude of this moment. The earth itself is upheaving and the skies unleash torrents. This marks the beginning of a cataclysmic event that would reshape the world as Noah knew it. For forty days and forty nights, rain fell incessantly, covering the earth, and all the while, Noah, following divine instruction, had gathered his family and pairs of every living creature into the ark. Picture Noah and his family working diligently amid the looming threat of the deluge. Their faith and perseverance are awe-inspiring, a testament to their unwavering trust in God's word. The rain continued, unrelenting. Soon, the waters rose and lifted the ark high above the earth. The waters prevailed, rising more than fifteen cubits above the highest mountains. Everything on the dry land in whose nostrils was the breath of life perished. This somber fact is a reminder of the destructive power of nature and the severity of the judgment being executed. Inside the ark, Noah, his family, and the animals endured. Let's take a moment to think about their experience. Contained within the massive wooden vessel, surrounded by the sounds of rain, rising water, and the presence of countless animals. It must have been an overwhelming and humbling experience. They couldn't see the devastation outside, but they surely felt the weight of responsibility and the significance of their survival. After the rain ceased, the waters continued to flood the earth for 150 days. During this period, the ark drifted upon the waters. The Bible tells us that God remembered Noah and every living thing with him in the ark. At this point, he sent a wind over the earth, and the waters began to subside. This marks the beginning of hope and renewal. As the water receded, the ark came to rest on the mountains of Ararat. Months passed, and Noah sent out a raven, which kept flying back and forth until the waters dried up. Then he sent out a dove to see if the waters had receded from the ground. However, the dove found no place to perch and returned. It wasn't until the third attempt, after the dove brought back a freshly plucked olive leaf, that Noah knew the waters had receded. This olive leaf symbolized hope and new beginnings, a sign that life would soon be restored. Finally, God commanded Noah to come out of the ark, bringing his family and all the creatures with him. Imagine that first step Noah took onto dry land after the flood. The world he stepped into was vastly different from the one he had left. It was a new beginning for mankind and the animal kingdom, a fresh start under God's covenant. This story, though ancient, holds profound lessons for us today. It speaks of faith in the face of impending disaster, the importance of obedience to divine guidance, and the power of hope and renewal. Noah's Ark is a symbol of refuge and salvation, reminding us that even in the darkest times, there is light and a promise of new beginnings. Before we wrap up, Here's something to ponder. If you were in Noah's place, what would be the first thing you would do after stepping out of the ark? Share your thoughts in the comments below. Your insights could inspire others in ways you can't even imagine. Thank you for joining me on this journey through Genesis. Stay tuned for the next episode as we continue to explore the timeless and transformative stories of the Bible. Until then, keep the faith and let these stories guide your path.